Hello YouTube, Ugly Prepper here. Uh, take a walk with me. Uh, thought I would take a, a little bit of time today and uh, show you around the place a little bit. Some of my flowers, some of my little clematis. Uh, these here, I've got purple cone flowers growing in these two big pots here. Uh, they'll come up soon enough. Uh, our garden, our community garden, my and dad's and sisters, we all have, you know, our own families and uh, we all have a community garden because we're all living on either dad's land or what's attached to dad's land. So uh, that's in another location. I'll have to take you there one day. But uh, summertime is upon us. Let me see here. can't tell if that's upside down or not. Um, Y'all, I can't see the camera. Uh, I can't hardly see what it's doing here. But I uh, wanted to show you a few things. Summer is upon us. And for many people uh, in the northern United States, that means camping, camping times here. Can't really camp down here where I'm at uh, in the summertime. You'll just die of heat stroke. <laughs> but uh, we camp in the early spring and the, and the late fall, and uh, sometimes in the winter time, it just works out best for us. Uh, it's not 98 in the shade and uh, uh, you know 120 percent humidity. So uh, camping down here in the summertime, no go. Or it is for me unless I have to. Uh, and if I have to, I'm going to be in the creek a lot. Anyway. Talking to you today uh, about camping. Hope y'all can still hear me okay. Wanted to show off this tarp here. Uh, I struggled saying it a couple videos ago. It's Arturus. Arturus uh, tarp here. It's a 5 by 7 And I went with, of course, the OD Green. Seems to be a theme of mine here. Uh, this tarp what sold me on it is it's it's heavy duty See, this is a little life baby I could tear that with ease this is heavy duty it's made to be used over and over and over again okay now on the other side is a space blanket uh, several videos ago back in the Back in the winter time, I believe, I did a video talking about the little 98 cent space blankets, how loud they are. And if OPSEC is a, is a vital, uh, putting one of those little 98 cent space blankets in your sleeping bag is no go. Because you can't hear nothing. Every breathe, it crackles, crackles. So this is a lot quieter. And uh, what sold me on this tarp? is this blocks 90 percent uh, of heat escaping okay so in the winter time this would be good keep it low keep it closer to your body but what really sold me on this y'all this blocks 90 percent of your heat signature so say there's some rogue tyrannical government force out there looking for you and they're using thermal cameras this is going to block you 90 percent of your signal so uh, I thought that was cool. And even though this is OD green, it kind of seems to have a little pattern on it. I like that. It's not just one color. It's kind of, kind of, y'all can see that. But it's kind of got a little variant in it, which I like. All right, let me, uh, of course, it would have to be a windy day when we're working with tarps. It is what it is. I'm going to set this bucket on it. Maybe that'll keep it from flying. Alright, now. This is your little life baby. Uh, this this was this particular one's called a life tent. But they make these bibbies that are the same way. They have a space blanket on the inside. And like they're usually a bright color. But these. If you pull one of these out and take a good look at it. 
they don't have grommets or grommets or grommets I think is how you actually say it so yeah you can run a ridge line through the top but how would you secure the edges this is basically you know you make a triangle shaped tube tent out of this thing so how would you attempt to uh, stake down the sides of it so you can so you can get in excellent question uh, well you can cut a hole in it but this stuff is paper thin and I advise you not to do all that because it's not going to hold the first good wind comes up uh, it's going to pull through the holes and all that and it'll be gone the wind will take it off so all you need is a little pebble uh, preferably a round one one with not real, not real sharp edges um, you take this I'm going to try to show you all this you put this inside wherever you want to tie it down at alright there's my little pebble right in there you can even twist it a little bit now this we can tie on to this is bank line number 36 bank line I made me a loop out of it okay I'll show you how to make that loop in a minute uh, basically you take this all right you kind of flop it over and make two loops out of it now holding it like this you have two different loops okay you're going to take and put both loops over the little stone or pebble all right and then pull that tight that one loop's going to close up well that one loop is going to close up around your little pebble right here of course you can just tie it regularly too you can do that uh, but now now you have a way to tie off to this tarp you can pull the edges out stake it down tie a rope to it whatever you need to do it's tied off you put that little pebble in there all right or if you have a fishing kit you could use uh you know lead weight sinkers uh you know whatever you got on hand pebbles are everywhere so that's why i chose the pebble for this demonstration but and uh so you can just use that that one loop will close up around that and you can tie this off wherever you want uh if you have a better way to tie that off you can put that in the comments wind's about to blow everything away y'all uh so that was one thing i wanted to show y'all i wanted to show you that new that i've had that tarp for about a month but it's it's new to y'all it's new to me uh and okay how to tie the loop i got some all right wind come on now Try to stake all this stuff down here where it won't blow around, make a bunch of racket. I got some bright orange 550 paracord. All right, we're gonna make this big so it's easy for you to understand. Uh, you'll probably need a lighter to, to burn the edges off. But for this demonstration, all right now, let me get this little brick over here. Excuse me. The knot we're going to use, or actually it's two knots that pull against each other. It's called, uh, it's referred to as a fisherman's knot. Now I'm a fisherman. It ain't the knot I use to tie my hooks on with. There's another fisherman's knot that you use to tie your hooks on with. Uh, or I do anyway. Most people do. Uh, but this one is made to connect two pieces of line together. Like, say you lost half the line on your rod. And you don't want to have to take it all off. You want to piece it, uh, patch it up. This is what you do. All right, you take your two ends of your line. All right, basically, you're going to pull you out some on one side. You're going to come around here. Just let that one end lay. Make you just a simple, I guess it's called an overhand knot. You know, that first knot you make when you're tying your shoes. All right. Now, take this part here. See, we got that one knot. Take this one knot right here, come over here on this side, and make another one. Well, come on, uh, ugly pepper, you can do it. Now then. Now, 
we have the two knots. These two knots are going to pull together. All right. Now, that knot, once you cinch it down good, it's not coming off. All right. It, it will not. It will not break and it will not come off. It's once you cinch it down, it's boom. It's there. All right. This is how you make your loops. Uh, for your Prusik knots, uh, you know, when you're, uh, well, actually, I've got something over here I can show you. Uh, I don't know how to work out. Over here, we have us a tarp set up. Uh, this is the big tarp I use over my tent. Uh, I just don't trust rain flies to keep the rain out. So this is my big tarp, my big camo tarp that I use to put over my tent when I'm tent camping. But, as you can see here, alright, this is how we have our tent put up. We have the Prusik knot. I don't think they're talking to me. Anyway. Uh, this is a Prusik knot. You go around this line three times. Go look up Prusik knots. There's plenty of videos to show you how to use the Prusik. But uh, the thing about this is, and it usually works better if one of the items is paracord and one is back line. It seems to hold better. You can use uh, paracord on paracord. It don't cinch up real good. But... Uh, You'll notice my tarp is a little loose right here. All right. Um, so, but the thing about this knot is you can tighten it up. Come on, I, I gotta do this one-handed. You may have to pull, it's like a little bit of tension off of it right there. Once you take the tension off, there you go. See, we're sliding on that line. All right, we got a little toggle in, the, in there. And, uh, and now, once you pull it back and tension it, it will not go back in that direction. It won't do it. So this, uh, Corporal's Corner really films this a lot better than I can, but I wanted to bring this to y'all. Uh, and, uh, you, uh, you can either use, put you a loop on here. These are loops for staking the, the ends down, these little orange ones. That way I see them if I don't, you know, so I don't trip over them. So that's what these loops are for, okay, on here. But you can run it through the, let me see, over here on this side. You see how my loops are right here? I put these loops in the grommets, and that way you can stake your tarp down, okay? I know this filming is probably horrible on this thing. Okay, over here. Yeah, y'all, your toggle don't have to be this big. I just didn't want to break this one. Um, but you see here, we're using the actual grommet in the tarp instead of using a loop on the tarp and then putting this through. But you can do it either way, and, and it works just fine. And then uh, when it comes to taking down your ridge line, this ridge line is not very tight, y'all. I put this one up just to show y'all. And uh, I didn't even do my usual knots on this because I didn't want to have to cut all this bank line off the spool over there. The spool's laying over yonder by the tree. So uh, once you get ready to take this down, pull your uh, pull your toggle out, boom, everything comes off. It's real quick. And uh, it can deploy and undeploy just as quick. I want to show, no, I'm not playing ball today. Not right now. Uh, so I wanted to show y'all that. Uh, let me get back over here to the porch. It is hot out here, y'all. I do mean it is hot out here. Uh, Anyhow, maybe this didn't film upside down. Uh, That's where I had to wait down my new car up there. Let's see here. 
get you set up. Sorry about all that, y'all. I know uh, that thing has a hot mic, and anytime you're moving it, it's loud, I know. But uh, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Some some tips to make your uh, your camping trip a little bit better. Uh, and once you learn how to make these loops, y'all, I put these loops on everything with a grommet. That way you've got something. You can stake your stuff down to the, into the ground, or you can make you a line and go to a tree and go through that loop or whatever you need to do. Those little loops are very, very handy. Hope y'all are having a blessed day. It's a hot one here in the deep south, uh, but it is a beautiful day. Uh, we got partly cloudy skies here. It's very beautiful. Uh, that's what I want to bring to you today. Uh, I want to start doing a prepper trivia question um, on every video. And y'all, I can't tell if you're using Google or not. A lot of y'all are going to just Google it. Uh, and, you know, I get it. If you don't know the answer, Google it. But I want to do this. This could be a fun way of learning more about prepping and survival. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea. So the first question, the first question is, what does SOS stand for? Not what does it mean. Everybody knows SOS means you need help. What does it stand for? That's your trivia question for today. You can, uh, you can put your answers in the comments. Well, Ugly Pepper, what do I win? Well, let me tell you. You win bragging rights, okay? Uh, you and uh, the whoever gets the correct answer first, I will name you on the next video. Like I said, trying to change it up, trying to make fun ways for everybody to learn more. Uh, when you're kicked back and relaxing, and you're watching other YouTube videos, I just thought this would be a fun way that everybody could learn more about survival. Uh, I will give a hint since this is the first question. This is the only hint you'll get. Think military. That's it. Y'all have a blessed one. Ugly Pepper. We're out of here.